Which strike do you think packs more power? A punch? Or a knee? Well, I'll give you a hint. Have you ever seen anyone eat a knee to the chin and keep moving forward unfazed? No. Not even the GOAT Demetrius Johnson can withstand a hit like that. You know why? Because a knee strike can pack up to two and a half tons of force. It's enough to lift a car off the ground. Imagine someone steps in on you to throw a strike and you brace for impact. How do you brace? Well, you bend your knees, lower your level, and tuck your chin. Well, if you do that against someone who's throwing a flying knee, you're gonna run directly into that. With a beautiful switch knee as the champion's head flies back. On top of that, when we throw the knee strike, we often guide the head by pulling the hands down. So now the head's lowering as the knee travels upwards, multiplying that force. That's why whenever you see a knee strike land to the chin, to the nose, or to the head, it almost always results in a knockout or a knockdown. So here's a quick drill to work on your knee strikes. We're gonna practice both variations. The first one being the straight knee. And then we've got the scissor flying knee. And you can see with both variations, I'm tucking my heel to my butt, sharpening the knee. In addition to that, I'm high-fiving my knee. It's simulating pulling down on my opponent's head and spiking them into the strike. Now, technique is vital, but what's equally as important is that we're hitting it with accuracy and proper timing. That's where this drill comes into play. So I'm gonna take a racquetball. You can start off with something bigger like a soccer ball or have a partner throw a soft medicine ball and you're just gonna return it with a knee strike. So it looks like this. Now another variation to this drill is juggling just like you do with a soccer ball. Just remember that those are upward trajectory knees, which is great for the flying knee, right? When someone tucks their chin and lowers their head. But if you're going for the body, you wanna knee outward. I think about aiming for the spine. So practice both so that you can adapt to whatever your opponent is giving you. We've all got our favorite knee knockout finish, so I wanna hear yours, comment down below. Me, I can't help but think about Adriana Marias against Demetrius Johnson. And which one? Both fights ended with a knee to the head, right? The first fight, Adriano got control of the head, spiked that knee, and got the KO. And then Demetrius got his revenge in the rematch where he bounced Marias' head off of the cage with that flying knee for the walk-off KO. Don't forget, the trilogy rubber match is happening this weekend, May 5th, one Fight Night 10 on Prime Video. Be sure to tune in. I'll be there live in the crowd. Until next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the Underdogs.